Hey everybody, it's Tobin with HHO for All. I um, have something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, on my 7 cup design, I was using these 2.5 uh, ounce stainless steel cups. You can buy 4 of them in a package at Walmart for a dollar. Um, it's not the best quality, so it does get a little bit of a build up on it after you know a little bit of after a couple of runs. Um, but the output that comes off of it, um, it's well worth well worth the risk. Um, what I want to show you is that I found one and a half ounce cups on eBay, and you can get them about thirty cents each. And so it's uh, still a pretty good buy if you buy them in quantity in bulk. Um, but if, if you look at the difference there, it's about half the size. And so you can actually build a cell that is about the same size as the 7 cup that I already have using about 9 cups of the 1.5 ounce. Actually, it's, it's still even a little bit smaller. And you get better output. So that's pretty much what I did. Let me show you my new cell here. This is my 9 cup HHO fuel cell, uh, stainless steel, and uh, if this thing will ever focus in on it. Um, I've got better electrodes on the side here now. Um, I've got the way it's laid out is positive on the top, center, and bottom, and then I have the negative leads actually, these are the positive on the left and negative on the right. So the way it's laid out is positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive. And then I also improved the exhaust port, which is now just a single quarter inch hole through the center of each cup. And the spacing's a lot better. I'm still using the um, the cable ties, the zip strips. I just slip them in there and then cut them off to size. And I did uh, four sets of those all the way around so that I got even spacing. And um, I've ran the cell a couple times. That's why it's a little bit dirty. Um, and the problem I have is after about five to ten minutes of running this thing solid, it trips off my 15 amp breaker and so I'm not sure exactly what it's getting up to but I'd imagine it's probably about 20 amps and the output um, I haven't been able to measure it yet because I don't have an enclosure for it um, what I'm going to use for an enclosure is um, this little 4x4 box that I got at Home Depot and it fits this cell perfectly inside of it and it's thick enough that heat isn't going to be an issue with that um, and just need to make sure that uh, the connectors that I put on it are going to be good enough that it's not going to warp the plastic at all. And if needed, I guess I'll have to put uh, maybe a heat sink or something so that I can stave off some of that uh, excess heat. But that's my new design. And uh, if you guys like the way that I'm going with this cell, uh, leave me some comments. And um, on the next video, I'll show you guys some output off of this thing and then uh, hopefully I should be able to get this enclosure set up and get a bubbler made so that way I can give you guys some output tests so uh, that's it it's Tobin with HHO for all signing off have a good one